And now a commentary from youth speaker Leslie Ludy about what godly manhood is supposed to look like in today's culture. And parents, this addresses some important issues related to sexuality and purity, and uh, it might not be appropriate for younger children. Modern manhood is in a sorry state. Guys have been taught that it's healthy and normal to be obsessed with sex and fixated on the female body. They've been trained to serve their own lustful, selfish desires by cheapening and conquering feminine purity. The same culture that trains us as young women to become sexy, sultry, and seductive also trains men to lust after women who possess those traits. Guys think about sex every 3.5 seconds is the message proclaimed by television, movies, and modern psychology. This is what boys hear from the time they're old enough to even notice the opposite sex. They begin to believe that being lustful cavemen is the way they were created. It's implied that if a guy isn't consumed by sexual desires and erotic fantasies, he's completely abnormal. Many of today's guys have bought into Hollywood standards of beauty, drooling over sex queens and scorning all things pure, innocent, and uncorrupted. And living among them, we as women become convinced that we must scrape and claw to be noticed by guys, to cheapen ourselves in order to become desirable to anything male that moves. But we must ask ourselves this question. What kind of guy are we seeking to attract? Do we really want to win the heart of a self-focused man who is only interested in our worldly allure and sex appeal? Or do we want to win the heart of a man who has been captured by Jesus Christ? A guy who sees the priceless value of a woman that shines with his spectacular radiant loveliness. Finding a godly Christ-built man comes down to two simple things. First, we must build our life around Christ. Jesus Christ, not finding the right guy, must be the focus of our life. Rather than searching for a human love story to meet our deepest needs for fulfillment and security, we must first find our fulfillment and security in an intimate romance with the prince of our soul, even if a love story never comes our way. As beautiful as a God-scripted earthly love story might be, it pales in comparison to the breathtaking romance Jesus Christ desires to have with us. We must not let our longing for human love usurp our longing for more and more of Jesus Christ. When He is our first love, we set the stage for a truly amazing earthly romance, one that is merely an extension of the greatest love story of all time. Secondly, we must be transformed by true beauty. It's tempting to try to become the kind of sensuous, alluring young woman that turns the heads of modern guys. But a truly Christ-built man is not looking for a woman who has been shaped and molded by the world system. He longs for a woman who has been shaped and molded by the beauty of Jesus Christ. Looking around at the guys in your life, you may not see many, if any, examples of this kind of valiant manhood. But Christ-built guys do exist in this generation, and God is raising up more and more of them all the time. If you follow the throngs of self-focused young women in today's world, the likelihood of bumping into a heroic man is slim, because Christ-built guys aren't found at the center of worldly allurements and attractions. A Christ-focused guy is not chasing after women. He is following hard after his king. The best way to find a truly godly guy is to stop hunting for one and instead pour all of our time and energy into our relationship with Jesus Christ, to allow Him to transform us with His radiant beauty, the kind of beauty that will ravish the heart of our heavenly King and captivate a godly man. A set-apart existence may not turn the head of the typical American guy, but it will capture the heart of a Christ-like man. For Focus on the Family, I'm Leslie Ludi.